Good afternoon, Fans Day fans. How you doing? We are watching game seven today. Uh, play Magpies versus Fans Day FC all the way in Chesham. Um, Magpies haven't had the greatest start to the season. I believe they've lost a few. Um, and Fans Day uh, win. But it never seems to be enough as we are chasing Gossam's end currently. So we start today with pretty much similar lineup to last week. Um, we are playing in our black and white kit today, which is our away strip. And the ball goes in. Yeah, um, we've had a real difficulty grasping the concept of starting fast. I'm not sure what it is, whether it's confidence, whether it's you know people so eager not to make mistakes. Um, but we've start, we start slow. Uh, this game we're out the traps early though. It's another chance there. Um, we know at the beginning of this game that Gossam's end are currently plus 10 goals ahead of us. We're level on points. They play in the cup today. Um, and we have a chance to get a little lead at the top of the league. Um, if we win today we'll extend our position by three points. But we know that goal difference is also a big deal. So without uh, underestimating our opponents or showing them any disrespect, we know that we need to score as many goals as possible. But scoring's not been a problem for us this season. All our strikers are in form. Uh, even the midfielder chipped him with a few goals. Here's Jarrell now. Through ball with the outside at a right boot for Marcus. Marcus with a cross now. And not quite good enough there. Um, we have had... Three or four really good chances. Curtis with the ball now. Um, oh, Jarrell with a header. Oh. Yeah, we've had them. Um, that's that's the fourth chance we've had now. Um, and pff, in other games, we we, we would have been two 0 up already. Um, we just need to be a little bit more uh, clin clinical with our finishing. Um, I believe that the uh, Magpies have brought a couple of Saturday players in. To the squad because they have got quite a few good individual shot going in there good block uh, they've got quite a few good individuals as the game's going on we've seen a few more um, you know players of better ability in amongst the team so a great through ball there for Josh Burt Dan Glash Dan Glash look come on Dan crossing oh there's a great uh, great dink by Dan Glash you find as the week's going on, he's getting further and further up the pitch and he don't look out of place. Header there, Liam! Oh, should have done better there. This is our fifth corner. Header goes in, just over the bar. Curtis runs to get it. Had a bit of problem with the linesman on the opposite side of the pitch. Literally throwing his flag up for everything, which is the most frustrating thing. Um... They tried to give us offside from a throw-in. I mean, the ball goes in there. Good save, Chris. Chris is really starting to grow in confidence uh, week in, week out. And he's looking more and more assured in goal. There's a few blemishes on the, the lens of the camera for some strange reason. That's not been cleaned before the game. Uh, and the GoPro that we usually use wasn't set up and clicked on record. So we have no GoPro footage this week, which is a massive shame. There's Sean. There's Dan Glash. So strong and powerful on the ball, Jarrell. And again, there's Marcus now. Through ball for Pats. Pat. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. Pats has put it over the bar. It's just been a really scrappy game so far. It's just been like long balls from both sides. The ball's landed in the middle of the park. We've not used our width very well as we have done in other games. Um, and I don't know what's up with this. We we really get sucked into scrappy games. We don't. We, we kind of lower ourselves to be involved in the dogfight. Um, when short, sharp, quick passing would, you know, would open them up. And a few, uh, a few of the occasions where we have gone through have been those one-two passes. A free kick to the opposition now in a dangerous position. 
Shot goes in. Oh, that's easy for Chris. Curtis plays a ball. Dan Glash again up there. Go on, Dan. Has a shot. Marcus is there. Marcus scores. What a poacher's finish. Well done, Dan Glash. He is week in, week out doing his thing. And Marcus well, he's just scores every game. You see Dan Glash shoots. Keeper parries it and the poacher is there. I believe that is goal number seven this season for Marcus. In uh, not as many starts. He's doing really, really well. And uh, it's no more than we deserve, but it has taken monumental work to get there. Always consistent with the fans. There's a number of fans come to watch us week in, week out. And ben Patty's come off with a hamstring injury. There's the gaffer there. What he's doing? Getting in the way. Cross comes in. Header. Oh! Who was that? We've got to do better. Well, in any other game this season, we'd be 4 5 nil up at half time. And we're just not. We found it really, really difficult. There's diff a difference between poor finishing and just not playing our game. There's Marvis there. We just did the lads get a bit more stuck in. There, there's stuck in there look crank tackle by Marcus left the player in a heap no book in there fortunately but it was a great challenge uh, unfortunately player I think he took a little bit of a knock We've changed halves now we made uh, no we haven't actually that's a big lie I'm wishing for half time that's how dull it's been for the first half shot there oh great save keeper who was that that was Marcus I think with a great shot I believe we have changed ends now and the substitutions were Ray Wood came off uh, Josh Burke came off uh, Chris Musto came on and Callum came on uh, Marvis came on for oh, lucky. Marvis came on for Ben Patty in the first half. I think we pushed uh, Bundy's come on and we pushed Geordie out to the left hand side of defence. Callum's on the right hand side. And one look at Callum, link up plays on, on point there. Here he goes again. Go on, Callum. All into the box. Back, back. Have a dig, have a dig. Unlucky. Callum has seen more and more game time over the last couple of weeks and he's such a threat going forward. Really, really doing well. I tell you, when you've got Dan Glash and Jordy and also Callum, real attack-minded uh, wing-backs almost. So we play a 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, but in our system... Um, we allow and we encourage the wing backs to push up and one of the midfielders usually Curtis will come and cover um, or Liam and uh, it really helps us going forward and that's been oh shot unlucky great safe keeper it's been one of the good points of the season where we are kind of overload and overlap on the wings with the, the, the deliveries that are coming in and a lot of our goals have come in from crosses which has been good this guy, number nine, really, really strong. Well done, Curtis. Been a real battle between Curtis and their number nine today. He's very strong. He's quite good on the ball. Uh, he seems to be their main attacking uh, player. Who's got the ball there? This comes in. Curtis. Marcus. Oh, get in, Marcus. Now, that was a great finish. Great ball in. Gets it out of his feet. What a finish. That was a great finish. Well done, Marcus. He is literally on fire. He could have had three or four, actually, by half-time. He is guilty of missing a couple of great chances in the first half, but you don't mind when they're uh, when they're going in. Jarrell on the left. He's been an absolute workhorse today. 
unselfish real good player Sean's been solid at the back as well the changes that we made we felt like um, at half time we was going quite slow down the right hand side players on the on this right was taking a little bit of time to make up their mind with the passes of Jarrell Jarrell with a shot in Curtis with ah oh, great goal well done Jarrell he's run down that left hand side on his own put a dig in he's come out to Curtis and Curtis has just hit it home oh the defender should have done better take nothing away from Curtis though right time right place great strike we have relied on him he's such a workhorse Curtis in the middle and we, we seem to rely on him a little bit too much you know I don't worry Curtis will be there and you can't rely on players all the time it's a blessing for having him here what's happening here a rare occasion into the box he's beat Chris oh no that was sloppy real sloppy I think the come out what's happening there he must have missed the header there and then Sean missed his man the keeper come out he went behind the keeper there's the Bundy great left foot oh how did he Marcus how did he miss that well Musto won't be pleased he took it straight off Musto's head and put it over the bar we attack again Marcus double header into the box off the bar unlucky Marcus there's Bundy running chasing his man down running back look go on Bundy Liam Curtis again with that battle number nine. Oh, he looked like he clipped Curtis there he's just like a bulldozer number nine he's done Sean and Sean uses his body to put him off and Chris comes out great challenge Chrissy you can definitely see that a few of these lads they, they can play football there's Liam he's really done well in the absence of Reese, he's stepped in and he's not replaced Reese, but he's done a good job in the middle of the park there we definitely miss Reese, but Liam stood up and done his bit and um, he's, he's been a contender for man of the match the last two games he's done really well new into the squad get that ball and Jordy's been fouled there disgusting nothing come from the free kick Curtis there plays it back Dan Glash I think to come back on for Jordy just have an edit there Let's throw the ball to Liam, was it? Oh, big challenge. Ball's gone through there. He's through. Oh, he cross goes in. That was dangerous. That was very, very dangerous. The ball went straight into the box, just past one of their players. It, it kind of eluded everybody. That's Marcus there. Plays it off to Callum. Callum puts the cross in. Oh, cleared. We're spoilt for options in uh, the left and the right back positions. Ball comes back in. Marvis there with a big head and he's put it in. More than deserved for Marvis. I tell you, I say it every week. He is our workhorse. He is our engine. He is such a menace up top. Look at that. The keeper, he jumped higher than everybody in the box. Looked like an easy finish, but it won't. Well done, Marvis. Liam was up there as well. Bundy was up there. I tell you, it's second half. Take nothing away from the, the guys in the first half. The second half, the changes have really made a difference. Um, but I do believe that we played slightly uphill in the first half with the sun in our eyes. Uh, I'm not going to make that as an excuse, but I think this team struggled coming up the hill in the second half and with the pace that we've got going forward. They're going forward again though here. Ball comes into the box. Doesn't beat Sean. Back into the middle. We keep playing down the, the left every time. The linesman's trying to give offside again. Dan Glash to Marvis. Marvis to Curtis. Go on, hit it. Hit it. In! 
Curtis Donaldson. I tell you what, that's his second, is it? Second of the game. Great ball from Marvis. Great assist. And he's just hit it. And the... Well, I don't even know what the keeper was doing there. This is what happens when you don't use your hands and you try and use your feet for everything. You need to put your body behind your hands and can't make those saves. Unlucky there, the keeper, but no more than we deserved. Really different second half performance. Still not our best. Um, that was risky then. It's still not the best performance, but a dramatic improvement. Um, Bundy there. Marvis one and keep takes it round the keeper. Can he find the finish? Oh! Marv! Ball comes in there. Musto's on the floor. He's the dig. Oh, that would have been a, a nice day. The gaffer got on the score sheet. Ball goes out. Coming towards the end of the game. And um, just want to thank the supporters that come in week in, week out to support us. I want to thank the cameraman. Who comes and films every week? Shout out to Potton. Reese made an appearance. A great dig, Sean. And the game finishes 5 1. Um, I see from the highlights there, a very slow start to the game, and we just didn't take our chances. And uh, I hope that doesn't come back to haunt us at the end of the season. But listen, the lads worked their nuts off, and a 5 1 result away from home again. Uh, you cannot grumble. Well done, the lads. Well done to Marcus. Well done to Curtis. We picked up a few injuries uh, today. So speedy recoveries to Jarrell, to Ben Patty, our centre forward, and to our general in the middle, Curtis Donaldson. Um, onwards and upwards. Our next game is against Hemel Harriers in the Cup. We are playing at home. Pitch one, the dips, Warner's End. It'd be lovely to see you all. Please like and subscribe the video, share it with your friends, I say it every week, but we want to build this movement and momentum to take forward with us when we move into our stadium next year and get some real support behind us. Um, hope you enjoyed the video guys, like, comment, subscribe, share and we will see you next week at the Cup Game first round.